It's a former British territory, it has over 260 islands, and it's the city with the most skyscrapers in the world. These are just three of the things that you will learn about Hong Kong. Hello everyone, welcome to the GeoFocus channel and my name is Paul. Today I'll be talking about Hong Kong, or as it's officially known, the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region of the People's Republic of China. But you can just say Hong Kong. Hong Kong is located in southern China, bordering Guangdong province, which is located in mainland China. In fact, Hong Kong is located right across the river from the Chinese city of Shenzhen in Guangdong province. It's a former territory of the United Kingdom, originating during the Opium Wars with China in the 19th century. In its early days, Hong Kong was a sleepy fishing village with a very small population, but influxes of refugees from conflicts in China boosted the population. By the time Hong Kong reverted to Chinese control in 1997, it had a population of around 6.5 million, and today it has a population of around 7.2 million. Hong Kong has a long-standing reputation of being a financial capital in Asia, with liberal capitalist economic policies. How can Hong Kong have a free capitalist economy when it's part of the People's Republic of China, which is a communist country? Well, it's because of the one country, two systems policy. Under this policy, after Hong Kong became part of China again in 1997, it was allowed to retain its capitalist economy and its legal system for a period of 50 years. And that period is set to expire in the year 2047. As a former territory of the UK and as a current special administrative region of China, Hong Kong is a very different place from much of the rest of China. Hong Kong does not have a capital city. It's a special administrative region which basically functions like one city or like an urban area with some outlying suburbs and forests and islands. Hong Kong may not be an independent country, but it does have its own flag. The flag is red in color, similar to the People's Republic of China flag, with a white flower in the center known as the Hong Kong Orchid. Hong Kong has a total land area of 1,104 square kilometers. Let's compare its size to a couple of other places. Here it is next to Singapore, which has a total land area of 687 square kilometers. And here it is superimposed over a map of Greater London, which has a total land area of 1,572 square kilometers. And with a population of 7.2 million, Hong Kong has one of the highest population densities in the world, with 6,690 people per square kilometer. Although there are over 260 islands in Hong Kong, there are just a few large islands and a mainland peninsula which comprise most of the land area in Hong Kong. The largest island in Hong Kong is Lantau Island. On this island, you can find the famous Tiantan Buddha, also known as the Big Buddha, stilt homes on the waterside, and it's the location of Hong Kong Disneyland. Much of this island is forested. To the northwest of Lantau Island, you'll see another little island. Actually, this used to be two islands, Chek Lap Gok and Lam Chau, but these two islands were joined together and expanded through land reclamation. These islands were turned into the location of Hong Kong's current international airport, Chek Lap Gok Airport. And as a quick side note, the old international airport in Hong Kong, Kai Tak Airport, which was used until 1998, was known as the sixth most dangerous airport in the world. One narrow runway with water on both sides, with the city center and the mountains immediately to the north, and fast turnaround times made landing at this airport an intimidating experience for pilots, and for passengers too. The second largest island is Hong Kong Island. On the northern coast of the island lies the busy Central District, which is the administrative and financial center of Hong Kong. And that's a bustling, exciting area where much of the action takes place. The island has a population of over 1.3 million people. Hong Kong Island is located just south of the Kowloon Peninsula, and Kowloon is the other busy urban area of the Special Administrative region. It has a population of around 2.2 million and the highest population density in all of Hong Kong. Kowloon and Hong Kong Island are separated by Victoria Harbour, but they're connected via the MRT, the trains travel through tunnels under Victoria Harbour, and also by the Star Ferry, which carries 70,000 people per day across the harbour. Hong Kong poses some difficulties for urban development. A lot of the land cannot be developed because of mountains and the steep hillside slopes. This is both good and bad. On the one hand, 65% of Hong Kong is still natural green space, which is nice, but on the other hand, the areas that are developed are quite crowded. Hong Kong has a humid subtropical climate which remains temperate for about half of the year. May to September is the hottest and most humid period and also the rainiest period with periodic rain showers and thunderstorms. The temperature during these months is often higher than 30 degrees Celsius, and not really that much lower at night. Hong Kong is also affected by tropical cyclones during this season. Tropical cyclones are also known as typhoons, 
And on a side note, if you've ever wondered if typhoons and hurricanes are the same thing, they actually are the same thing. They just tend to be called by different names in different regions of the world. As previously mentioned, the population of Hong Kong is around 7.2 million. One interesting thing to note about the population is that for every 1,000 females, there are only 858 males. Why? Well, one factor is that many men tend to marry women from mainland China and bring them to Hong Kong to live as residents. Another reason is that there are a large number of women from Philippines and Indonesia working as domestic helpers in Hong Kong, and some of them become long-term residents, and some of them marry local men. This demographic imbalance in Hong Kong has become somewhat of a crisis, with some women unable to find a husband. 94% of the population of Hong Kong is Chinese, specifically Han Chinese. The remaining 6% consists of various different ethnic minorities. In total, that's about 451,000 people. The majority of those are from either Philippines or Indonesia, with around 100 33,000 people each. Hong Kong has two official languages, English and Chinese, but the law is not exactly clear about which kind of Chinese is the official language, because the word Chinese refers only to the written language. Around 89.5% of the population of Hong Kong speak Cantonese, making it the most widely spoken language. English is widely used within the government, legal, and professional and business sectors. Some of the other languages spoken in Hong Kong include Standard Mandarin, Indonesian, Tagalog, and various other Southeast Asian languages. Roadsides in Hong Kong tend to be bilingual in Chinese and English, but the place name is sometimes different in English and Chinese, which can cause some confusion when tourists stop to ask someone for directions. Buddhism and Taoism are the dominant religions in Hong Kong. The number of practicing Buddhists in Hong Kong is estimated at 650,000 to 700,000. In Hong Kong, you can find temples dedicated to various Chinese gods or to Buddha. Perhaps the most famous is the Polin Monastery, which houses the Big Buddha on Lantau Island. It is also very common to see small shrines outside offices and shops in Hong Kong. Freedom of religion is guaranteed under the basic law of Hong Kong, and other faiths like Christianity, Islam, and Hinduism all have communities and places of worship in Hong Kong. Despite its small land area, Hong Kong is home to over 3,300 different species of plants and over 2,300 species of animals, including around 530 species of birds alone. This is partly because Hong Kong is a major stopover point for birds on their migration route through Asia. The animals probably most notable to tourists are the rhesus macaque monkeys. In fact, visitors to national parks feeding these monkeys has led to overpopulation, causing the government to make feeding the monkeys illegal. Now, don't get bitten by any monkeys. You don't want to spend your time in Hong Kong in the hospital when you could be outside experiencing this fascinating city. When you visit Hong Kong, be sure to visit Victoria's Peak on Hong Kong Island, where you can look down on the Central District, Victoria Harbor, and Kowloon, and enjoy one of the most beautiful views in the world, especially at night. If you've been to Hong Kong, share your experiences in the comments down below. And if you have any other information you'd like to share about Hong Kong, then please write that too. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of my accounts are under the name Lang Focus, which is the name of my largest channel. Special thanks to my man Faisal Mohammed for helping me with the research and the writing of this episode. If you'd like to help out in the same way, then feel free to get in touch through the Facebook page or through a Twitter DM. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.